Sean, sit down. Kanute Waswa is bonding with his children. And that's not because they are home from school due to a stop in learning by the government. His is a daily routine conducted dutifully, whether the school calendar is on or not. Kanute is one of those parents who prefers to homeschool his children. He has been doing so since all three of them were born. My wife and I decided to homeschool because it was important for us that our children are able to unlock their gifts and talents. And the gifts and talents oozing from 14-year-old Shawana, 12-year-old Bungani, and 10-year-old Lakisha has seen the trio develop artistic prowess. In this household, music is just part of the daily learning process in a curriculum which is decided upon entirely by their parents. There's no pressure, there's no grading. Um, the thing I like most is that I can be myself and I don't have to compete against 49 others in the class. If it's something like maths, that will be dad. But if it's something like chemistry, it should be mom because she has more experience. You get to interact more with family instead of just going off with your own activities. With the threat of the coronavirus forcing schools to be shut down, homeschooling is perhaps now gaining traction. But the aspect of homeschooling is taking a whole new different dimension, with homes now being converted into comfortable spaces where learning and play can be effected in the most productive manner. In Kitengela Estate, in the outskirts of Nairobi, parents are pooling their resources together to get the best out of the homeschooling experience. We train online. We have Cambridge uh, training online for teachers. And we also participate in training that comes to the country, uh, normally held at other international schools. So as staff members, we would attend that kind of a training. Masin Jue is the founder of the Rahma Home Study Group, where 10 children from about four different homesteads come together to be taught by their parents. 13-year-old Ethan Ngari is the oldest in the group and has already started learning about computer coding. His teacher is none other than his own father, an IT expert who's sparing time to impart knowledge to the children here. What do you want to do when you grow up? Probably become an ICT teacher mm -hmm. or a food tech or a food tech teacher or a pilot, mm. between those three. Mm. The ratio of teacher to student is uh, it's just good, it's one to ten. So uh, the concentration on your child is actually very high. What are the ingredients we looked at? Magdalene Mbidi yeah. mm -hmm. conducts a pastry class as part of a daily routine to instill practical lessons meant to help the children okay. here. Uh, we said uh, three cups of flour is equals what? For 38 grams. The approach is practiced differently for different parents. Let's go, right? And as formal education remains paralyzed, classes remain in session for those whose parents double up as their teachers. Timothy Otieno, KTN News. Four times five.